the biggest difference between 3D and here I would say is scope size and then peep size. The longest target here at Reading is Bigfoot, which is 101 yards. We're going to shoot it from 100.7 about every year. That may shift by a tenth. But you've got to get that 100.7 yards. You've got to have clearance for your arrow to pass under your, your sight. I shoot a 29 millimeter um, scope housing because that way we shoot longer distances. When I run it down, as you can see, really low to say, you know, 100 yards or so, that's a little bit under it. But the distance from my shelf to the scope isn't very large, so I'd have a hard time with contact with my veins hitting my scope housing as it's leaving the bow. Well, I have no issues because I have a gargantuan draw length and I get a lot of arrow speed. No issues reaching 100. My, my wife doesn't quite get there. She's you know 26 and a half inch draw and, and uh, normally she shoots her sight extended uh, all but one notch on her Shibuya sight. So she's she moves her sight in. The shorter your sight radius, the shorter your tape will be, the more clearance you'll have. Uh, it's not quite as fine of an aim, and some people, sight radius is kind of a, a black magic when it comes to torque tuning and some of the other things you can hear about. At Bigfoot, I actually can never get 101 yards. So I normally run my sight all the way out as far as I can on the mounting bracket. I actually, for Bigfoot, have to run it all the way in, because the closer you get the sight, the more distance that you gain. And then I actually have some gnarly hand torque, and so because I move it so much, I have to click my sight 31 clicks to the left. And then I also move it as low as I can, and I usually shoot two fletch, flat fletch arrows, so it clears my housing. The most important piece of equipment, besides obviously a good shooting bow with a good set of arrows, uh, would probably be the rangefinder, and one that will give you good inclination reading. When you're shooting up and down a hill, you've got to give a cut to the yardage that's marked. And they, they do mark the yardage for you, but they don't give you the cut yardage. So some of these shots here might be, you know, say 35 yards, but you've got a two yard cut. So you've got to know that, and I want to know it exactly. It's 22. Pew, yes. pew, pew. Good rangefinder will say 35 yards, cut to 33.2 yards. You want a rangefinder that reads in decimals. One that reads whole numbers is not fine enough for what you need. So you need a good range finder that gives you a good tenths of uh, a yard on it. I usually set my peep somewhere in the neighborhood of around 50, 55 yards for out here because that's the most common yardages we're gonna shoot and that's where I'll be the most comfortable. And I just kind of let, you know, I, it, it's kind of like a floating anchor or whatever at 100 yards. I mean, it's just, I still got pressure on my face but it's a, little, it's a lot lighter than, than it would be at, you know, 40, 30, 20. 